What is up guys? Thank you for clicking my video. It is your boy Callum here and welcome to my vlog. It's lovely weather today in Cambridge, but me and Amy are gonna get the best breakfast in the world. And that is Frank and May's breakfast. One breakfast, two breakfasts. Amy's going in two. Breakfast is done, but fuck the salad. I'm not about salad for breakfast. Yes. So guys, breakfast done. It was amazing. Frank and Benny's has the best breakfast ever. Like people don't like Frank and Benny's because their normal meals are pretty shit, but their breakfast is just amazing. I got two because I'm a fat bastard, but it fits into my freaking calories. Look at this shit. Triple stack pancakes, very calorific, 722 calories. And then I guess the ham and cheese omelette. So it's over 1,100 calories, but yeah, it was amazing. Here are the macros, 67 grams of protein, quite a lot of carbs and a shitload of fat, but it is just gone 12 o'clock. So that was basically my brunch. I'll have dinner and then probably a snack and that is me for the day. Kept in my calories, trying to lose a little bit of weight because I feel very, very fluffy, but I wanted to enjoy breakfast. I wanted to take Amy out to cheer her up, but now it's workout time. I'm the only person in the gym, it's about half 10. I'm halfway from my workout. And I thought, why not give you guys a gym tour? I've never actually shown you the gym. So the gym is called Kelsey Carriage. It's slap bang right in the center of Cambridge, just off Parker's Peace, which is like a massive, famous bit of grass where the first rules of football were invented. Bit of history for you there. But I'll show you the gym. It's got some ghetto bench there, the water machine. Got all the dumbbells here. Three racks, goes up to 75 fucking kilograms beast out here. We've got a decline bench, bench there, bench there, shoulder press bench, got some bars. Then we have the machines. We have the hack squat, leg extension, got just a normal chest press, the best leg press ever. You got a T-bar row, squat rack here, got incline chest press, We've got a concentration curl bench, got a flat bench here, got the worst machine, it's like a hip thruster machine, terrible machine. You've got a Smith machine, leg extension, this random fucking step thing that just pisses me off. Got a T-bar actual machine, which is sick. Got lat pull down, which is amazing. Obviously you have to have the fly rear delt machine. Ham strength row. The oldest freaking cardio you've ever seen in your fucking life. A little mat area, deadlift platform, kills the carriage. Then you have the squat rack. This is the best squat rack. We've got two calf machines. We've got a special rack shoulder press right here. 
random what bike, special like little ab, you know, leg raise fucking machine, whatever it is. Dips, back extension, got some big boy chains on the floor. Got another flat bench press, and you've got decline. You've got a sick bicep machine here. Lap pull down right here. Incline bench, a shitload of attachments. Then you've got cable row, hammer strength shoulder press. Then you've just got the cables here. Guys, is Kelsey Carriage. I love this gym, but anyways, home time. This isn't home, where the fuck are we? Still not home, but I did buy new trackies because everyone needs more trackies. I'm still not home. I don't want to freaking swing. What is going on? Okay, let's try this one. Okay, what the fuck is going on? I think this shit is broken or something. Let's try another one. Okay, I'm so confused. I'm still not home. I'm in the middle of a fucking field. Fuck. This shit is broken. Let's try one more and see what happens. Okay, I'm still not back. What the fuck is going on? I mean, it's like some wasteland, weird, scary place. Fuck. I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, still not home and it's starting to get dark. I'm very worried now. Maybe I need to clean it a little bit. Whoa, wrong place. Okay guys, finally I am in the right place. I've got my new trackies on and I am eating the best ice cream ever made, popping candy ice cream. But I want to show you something. Look at the screen, shit is about to go down. Yes, the best pizza ever. Philly cheesesteak is the best pizza ever. And now it's in my time. Yes. Now that was some GTA shit right there. That was fucking epic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried my hardest to put some cool edits, some cool transitions, and to try and make this video really, really good. So I really hope you guys like it. I even put a workout in for the first time in fucking ages. I tried to make a really cool edit. I did some new effects that I've never used before. I am learning, so if it's not the best, I apologize. I'm just trying to do my best, learn as I go, and just make some sick videos. But please let me know your opinions and how you felt about the video, guys. I really want to know what you think, like about the edits, about the transitions, even just about what I do. I'm just trying to make my videos interesting and just improve every time I make a video. So please let me know what you think, guys. But before I end this video, guys, I need to share something with you. It's very serious and very sad. And it might be hard for me to say this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So guys, two days ago, Amy's mum, Liz, sadly passed away. She had fought cancer for over 11 years and she literally was the strongest woman I've ever met in my life. She was so inspiring, so lovely. Everyone that met her loved her. She just made everyone smile. She was an amazing woman and she never, ever gave up. She was told numerous times that she had a limited amount of time to live and she, she just survived and just pushed through and it's just amazing. She survived 11 years when she was told she wasn't gonna survive one year. It, just blows my mind. She would literally didn't give up. She never stopped fighting. She was so strong. And I know we think strength is like lifting weights, being really strong and manly, but it's not. Strength is inside. And she was literally the strongest person ever. I don't think I'm ever gonna meet someone as strong as her ever again. She was amazing. She has inspired me to never ever give up. And it's just a very sad time. I was there with Amy and her family the whole time and it was just lovely. They have a lovely family. I'm so glad to be part of their family. And they're all so strong and just sticking together. I'm so proud to be a part of their family and just trying my hardest to stay strong for them and just help them out as much as I can. And I just wanted to say thank you to Liz for welcoming me into her amazing family, for just being the most amazing, strong woman I've ever met and just impacting my life so positively. So I might not be able to make all three videos next week and I apologise if I do miss an upload, but I have to be there for Amy and her family. I have to be strong. I have to just spend my time with them. If I don't have enough time to make videos, then it doesn't matter. Family is way more important than anything else in this world. So I apologize if I don't make all my videos, but we'll see. So before I go, I just want to give you some advice, just some of my thoughts. I probably said it before, but I just want to say it again. 
Do not waste your life. If you're not happy with something in your life, change it. Do not waste your life doing something that you do not enjoy, wasting your life working a job that you hate. Change your fucking life. Do not live your life unhappy because life is not guaranteed. Life can end at any moment and do not waste any second that you have. Find love, find happiness, spend time with your fucking family and just be the best person you could ever be. But what I'm trying to say is just do not waste your life. Do not procrastinate on just some bullshit that doesn't matter. Do not do stuff that you don't enjoy because you feel like you have to because other people tell you to. If you don't like something, don't do it. Chase your dreams. Do things that you want to do. Do not let society or other people tell you what to do. Just do what you want to do. Be happy in yourself because life is way too short and we really shouldn't waste it. We all get busy sometimes, but we always need to make sure we appreciate and make time for our loved ones because they are the most important things in our lives. Money doesn't matter. Material things don't matter. Even your job doesn't matter. What matters is how you are as a person and your fucking family. That is what matters most out of everything in life. Everything else comes and goes, but your family are only going to be a family. You only get one family and you only get one of yourself. So be the best person you can be and spend as much time as you can with your family. Anyways, guys, it is now the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I had to share some sad news with you, but it's just part of my life and I wanted to share it. But if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.